my channel welcome if you are new here welcome to another day of vlogmas so if y'all watched yesterday's vlogmas and y'all already know what we doing today but first i gotta tell y'all about my morning because baby was it a morning boom so i woke up this morning and babe was still here it was nine o'clock mind y'all he has to be at work at nine o'clock so i used it as an opportunity clearly he probably woke up late he was running late for work whatever it was so i was like boom i'm gonna run and go get me some coffee real quick while he's still here and kyle was still asleep so i go to wawa mind y'all wawa is like right across the street so it wasn't far at all went to wawa and i turned the car off then I, I'm like, why did I turn the car off? Like, I'm going to be right back. And I didn't wait for it to warm up. And in the winter time, y'all, you should wait for your car to warm up. So I was like, let me keep it running so it, it can warm up a little more while as I'm getting my coffee. So I go to restart the car and it was doing some weird, like it made a weird noise and it wouldn't restart. So I'm like, hmm, weird, not thinking too much of it. I'm like, maybe it's because I didn't let the car warm up, warm up before I pulled off this morning. Whatever. I'm going to go get my coffee. I'll come back. No problem, right? So I'm walking into Wawa and they got a sign on the door that says coffee is free on Tuesdays. And I'm like, look at God. Like, thank you. So I'm excited. I'm getting a free coffee. So I got the biggest size you can get. I filled up the cup all the way. Didn't need to use any of their creamer because I had creamer in the house. I was going right back in the house. Didn't really have nothing planned to do outside of the house today. So I go to get back in the car and why is my car not starting y'all? <laughs> The car is not starting. So I'm like, I'm stranded at Wawa and he's going to be living because he has to go to work. He's already late and I'm going to make him even more late. Mind you, I went to Wawa because even though he was running late, he still wasn't ready to leave. And Wawa's like right there. So I was like, I'll definitely be back by the time he's fully dressed and everything and ready to go. But yo, I was stranded at Wawa. I'm like, ciao. So for a while now, my, my car key, when I would get in the car, I would say, you know, key, battery low, da 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 Da, da, da. so i've been needing to change it but it's been it's been going over my head mind ya like a month ago this happened while i was at work i was leaving work and my car would not start because the key battery finally died but at that point i kept a spare um battery in my apron because i knew the battery was about to die i knew that the time was coming so it was an easy quick one to switch but this was a month ago so for it to be happening again i'm like bro so i'm like damn what am i gonna do luckily there was a dollar store there's a family dollar down the street or whatever but y'all i live in maryland if you did not know walking is not the norm here okay i had to walk from wawa to family dollar mind y'all in a car it's like one two three y'all my camera battery is also about to die and i did not charge it at all last night and i do not know where my spare battery is so i gotta make the story quick or i'm gonna just have to come back and tell you after i do everything that i was supposed to be doing with my hair on the vlog today i'm sorry um but yeah so in a car like from wawa to family dollar is nothing but that walk y'all at nine o'clock in the morning and i was cold and the way i left out the house thinking i was just going to get a coffee and coming back i looked crazy not too crazy but we're not gonna get into it anyways so i called my mom on this walk to explain to her what is going on what's happening and of course her being a mother uh it's because you don't listen I've been told you to, why would you get the first? Because the other battery that I bought last time was from the dollar store, like Dollar Tree, y'all. <laughs> she was like, why would you get a, a battery from the dollar store? That's why it died on you again. Whatever. So this time, the, the battery at Family Dollar was $7. Ain't nothing a dollar about Family Dollar. Like, these dollar stores be blowing mine. But it was two for $7. I got that. And it was Energizer. So it was a better brand. She was like, yeah, that's the brand you're supposed to get, blah, 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 blah. So now I had to walk back to the car. And again, there is no sidewalk or pedestrian walkways, y'all. So I'm damn near hitchhiking in the middle of the street. But yeah, y'all, to make a long story short, I had a long morning. <laughs> the coffee was well needed by the time I got back in the house. Mommy, move over the way. Let me wash my hands. You say excuse me, Kaya. Excuse me. Yeah. Wash my hands. Okay. But yeah, you guys, if you watched yesterday's uh, vlog, then you know today we are doing something with this hair. I'm about to show y'all quick before, before my um, camera dies. My hair needs to be washed so bad, y'all. We're going on like three weeks it's been three weeks at this point but this is how long my hair is now i'm about to cut it and brush it i actually went to sleep the way y'all just saw my hair is how i went to sleep i put it in a ponytail 
flipped it up and put my scarf on. I did not wrap it or anything because it's, it's time for it to get washed anyway. So, yes, baby. Um, so I'm about to cut my hair, wash it. So my camera battery literally died mid whatever I was saying in the clip earlier this morning, but I don't remember. And it's so much later, my camera battery has completely charged within the time frame it took me to cut my hair wash it do all that other stuff so i'm gonna just run y'all down real quick so to cut my hair i'm gonna insert the picture right here of the hair that was on the floor um and not a bob which i was very tempted to cut my hair into a bob these past couple days but it's not a bob but it is a couple inches like two to three inches so yeah the video i follow to cut my hair is actually the video i had posted my freshman well the summer after my freshman year of college but my first summer on youtube if you know you know that summer i did a protein treatment which is literally the same protein treatment i did today and i cut my hair in that video i did all of that in a in a attempt to revert my curls but y'all ain't no such thing if your hair is deep heat damaged you cannot revert it back okay so that was my mistake in that video but still the way i cut my hair was very useful and y'all I haven't seen my hair post um, protein treatment and post deep conditioner, but as soon as I washed my hair, after washing my hair, before I put the protein treatment in, the curls, y'all, my hair is very much so giving how it looked when my hair was still in its shorter stage. And when my hair was in its shorter stage, you know, I really loved my curls. I couldn't wait for it to get longer. I'm like, this is popping. But it seemed like as it was getting longer, my curls were changing and I didn't like it. Whole time, y'all, I just needed a real trim. My hair, like, for real, for real, it's all, it's, how can I explain this? I can't, and I'm not even gonna stress myself out trying to, to explain it, but I know what I mean. And my curls just look amazing with no products in it. And I'm going to hurry up and take this down before it completely dries and we miss out. So, this is how my hair looks, y'all. You can see the freaking difference. Do y'all see my curls right now? Like, do y'all see my curls? Yeah, I do not regret that cut at all was very much so needed there is no product in my hair i just rinsed out my deep conditioner and this is what she's giving oh let me tell you what time it is it's <laughs> 2 50 in the afternoon i wish i came well i don't know if i told y'all what time it was earlier when i first started vlogging i believe it was maybe like almost 11 o'clock so yeah this took a couple hours but yeah there's nothing in my hair and I thought about like just leaving it like this and um, letting it air dry but I think I'm gonna add some leave-in conditioner like even the top part of my hair like do y'all see this curl on the front of my head and this was always my problem area and I didn't like the way my hair would curl up the whole time y'all I just needed a trim I want to cut some of this because it's actually getting a little damaged I'm just gonna cut a little bit Oh, these scissors are sticky from the protein treatment because I also cut a little more as I was applying the protein treatment. But yeah, I'm super satisfied, no regrets. Oh, but I don't want to. I don't want to go crazy with the products that I put in my hair just because. Again, my hair appointment is on Thursday, and I will be um, just braiding it up for my wigs again. So what I'm gonna do is tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow night. I'm going to rinse my hair again and blow dry it, but I won't have to fully wash it. I'm just, I would just be rinsing this leave-in out, but because we do have plans tonight and I need my hair somewhat manageable, um, I'm adding this leave-in conditioner and I'll probably just do a pineapple maybe. I need something that's going to last me to work tomorrow as well. But yeah, so now my plans, this was really the big thing that I had to do today um, till later on tonight. I need to think of what drink I'm going to make for um, game night. I thought of it this morning, which I should, like, when, I, when my car key battery died, all my thoughts then went out the window. I wasn't even worried about nothing but getting a new battery for my car key. But I woke up this morning and I was like, damn, I should have did, because uh, we all had to pick a color and I picked blue. I was like, damn, I should have made blue jello shots. Like, that's something nice and simple. But now I don't think I'd have enough time to let the jello shots set and everything. Like, game night starts at 
6.30, air quotes, because Sanaya, my friend Sanaya, she is the host, but she's the friend that cannot be on time to save herself. So even though she say 6.30, I feel like she said 6.30 last time and people ain't get there till 9, for real. But I do have to work in the morning, so I'm not trying to be there all night, but even still, 6.30, I don't want to be the first to show up, kind of. Like, just... And y'all know I used to, like, hate the shape of my hair, but... It just grew out so lovely. I'm going to see if I still have the clips from the vlog um, where I was prepping my hair to get straightened. Which I feel like I just deleted those clips. I don't know. They might be on my computer. But like you can just see the difference in the shape of my hair. I do have on this black robe. So it's kind of hard to see. Let me like. Y'all. For the longest I like hated the shape of my hair. I hated the way it was growing up because it was all that different lengths. Hated the curls. But like for no product y'all. Like if I really took my time and did a wash and go with this it would be amazing there you go baby you gonna wash your hands it's about to be three o'clock i was telling y'all what time i think i'm gonna we're gonna head out to the um game night i'm thinking like 7 38 7 30 because i want to i want to leave by like 11 30 well that's mad time what? Eight might be good. The last game night, it wasn't colors. We just had to bring a drink and I made strawberry lemon drops. I know that's my go-to. Like every game night, I'm bringing a lemon drop. I might just do the same thing and do a blue raspberry lemon drop instead. And I could use that blue raspberry vodka that I still have so I don't have to buy no alcohol. I just have to get some lemonade. And I already got blue carousel. Look. Oh, but I think like blue carousel plus lemonade would make it green because blue and yellow. So how did they make this blue? Okay, so it is currently 7.31 and I just left out not too long ago. Um, I will be using the blue raspberry speckle that I was telling y'all about earlier. Y'all know what I don't understand? So I have this whole tripod, right? But my camera still be shaking. And like I noticed that in the footage when I was editing earlier. And I don't know how to get it to stop. So I apologize. Maybe it's not like tight enough on the tripod. Hold on, y'all then it's not like at a good angle to face me we'll see if that helps i feel like it kind of did and obviously it's super dark outside now but um i will be using the blue raspberry sebeca that i was telling you guys about earlier so that works out i'm still on my way to the liquor store y'all because let me tell you the dumbness tell y'all the dumbness that i did yesterday right so again make sure y'all are watching every day of vlogmas because when we vlogging back to back like this like you miss one episode you really miss a key component in my day it may not seem like i be doing too much but when you put it all together when you look back on it i'm doing just enough and you need to watch every video okay yeah so in yesterday's vlog y'all saw i went to the liquor store and i got two things of wine to try out um i think i did grab the small one but my bigger bottle of the one that i actually drink the moscato I put it in the freezer because it wasn't like cold cold and I already told y'all like my wine's real cold but then I also told y'all yesterday how vlogmas was kicking my ass I was really really tired you guys so I winded up drinking like one of the small bottles and then I went to sleep so I totally forgot that I put my bigger bottle in the freezer babe come home comes home from work today he's like um did you look in the freezer I'm like no and then he's like did you like open the freezer at all today I'm like no I'm thinking he got a surprise for me or something in there and then he was like oh and I'm like what happened and he was like and I was like, with my wine bottle? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I totally forgot about it. The whole bottle freaking exploded in the freezer. Luckily, like, it was frozen by the time it cracked. So, like, it wasn't wine all over the freezer. It wasn't even glass all over the freezer. Like, it broke in its form. It didn't really start, like, breaking apart till we tried to, like, take it out the freezer. But it wasn't a big mess or anything to clean out. It was just the fact that I just bought that bottle of wine and didn't even get to open it, let alone drink it. So, luckily, my mama, you know, she loved the kids. She sent me an additional, she sent me more money to go get another one. Because it, it wasn't, she was all like, if you can't afford to buy your own bottle of wine, clearly, you don't need, well, she didn't say afford or anything. But she was like, if I need to be sending you $10 for you to get wine, clearly, you shouldn't drink it. Which, in a sense, was her saying, I'm not supporting your habit. Which, you know, I 100% 100 agree. People who ask other people for money to support their bad habits, clearly, you shouldn't be doing it. But... It's not that like I needed the money to replace my wine bottle. It was just, I'd rather not spend my own money again 
when there's a possibility my mama will give me the money and I could just use hush. You know what I'm saying? It don't hurt to, to act. So <laughs> right now I'm at Acme. I'm about to run in here and get some lemonade and then the liquor store is right next door. So I'm gonna get me my new bottle of wine so I can have for later. And luckily, this is done right now. Here's Sanaya go. She gonna text the chat talking about some I messed the food up. Houseway. But um what was I saying? Oh, on the back of the Seveca bottle, I'm gonna show you guys when we get to tonight's house, but there's literally a recipe for a drink on the Seveca bottle, which was literally what I was making tonight, but I called it a blue raspberry lemon drop, but it's a different name on the bottle. I'll go more into detail um when we get to tonight's house. But on the bottle it says lemon juice i'm gonna just get lemonade because why not but i'm like oh what are the odds i'm by the smoke shop so i'm thinking if i should get a new um hookah flavor i already uh got two in my bag y'all know i be on in charge of the hookah because i got my little travel size hookah it's not in its um box right now because it's airing out because i just rinsed it out really good so yeah link will be in the description box if you guys are interested though and i did post it for my birthday vlog just in case i forget to link it in this vlog go check out my birthday vlog because if you didn't go watch that you need to watch that and then it's for sure in that description box yo. so i've been talking about this damn game night all day and why i messed up so i come in and i all like where's your color war i'm like i'm blue right and she's like yeah you don't have i, I don't have on blue y'all i had on a whole cream sweater i forgot we were supposed to wear the color as well so i'm cream with a blue drink but it's okay say hi jasmine my forehead look big as shit huh? how do you know i can just tell girl vibe my girl got her face beat she missed the first game night so feel me she missed the vibe of it's, it's real calm and casual, y'all. Girl, wasn't nobody worried about your whole fit. I was just showing them that it was real calm, but I kept going in and out of focus. We got the cookies and the cupcakes. So y'all remember how I was telling y'all that tonight I texted the chat talking about something she messed up the food. So she over-seasoned the sliders and then under-seasoned the tacos. And she's just in there laughing, but it's okay. Me and Jasmine don't mind. We're I hungry. Didn't make the tacos. Why don't you tie on? Tie on. Tie on. Come on, Edward. You're to blame. What you got to say about your unseasoned tacos? Dang, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. If it's up to me personally, I think it's good. You would think it's good. All I need is protein. That's it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> We'll be the judge of that. Me and Jasmine will be judging the time. Uh -huh. I'll Wait, get you so here now. you record all the way on, yeah. like, on this the whole time? What you mean? Like you like take the film from this and you upload it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool as shit. So here are the unseasoned uh, tacos. Did you, you did that presentation? Did this, presentation? He did that? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. The presentation was definitely me. The presentation? You ain't even taking out the pan. I put it in the bowl though. <laughs> oh, you all right. Yeah. These are some nice right. sliders. We ain't gonna talk about it. I'm hungry though, so. You got sour cream? Yeah, it's in the fridge. I just gonna eat. <laughs> so y'all, update on the food, right? I'm gonna tell y'all what Sanaya done did, right? The camera is crispy. We got a newcomer, y'all, so. This is Neil. What's happening, y'all? Another Daddy. wizard, Kelly. If I, oh, he, he a little far, yeah, but if I come closer. You know what I'm saying? Over six foot. Oh, I ain't gonna give you a chance. Take stay a while. Alright. I do that a little bit. <laughs> name it. What would I name it? Mm -hmm. It would have to be something besides me. I ain't not answering. Right? Or me and my cool. Yeah. And you need to have mental health on there. Okay. For black people and people of color, specifically, like, you know, everyone too. Like, yeah, okay. Colored okay. people. Okay, so we got a nice look. Yeah. All right. I ain't even got this bitch because I made that beat on us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's how you feel it. Mm. Why does it look like it's busy on your shirt? You're gonna stand a little bit. <laughs> That's what I was saying. The hard ass body. So she was saying, wait, what? He didn't answer. She didn't answer. Didn't answer. Um. So Sanaa was saying that Tyon under seasoned the taco, so she takes it upon herself. <laughs> Mind you, we didn't know at first. So we're tasting the tacos, we're like, no, they're actually kind of salty too. She goes, that since she thought they were under seasoned, she went and added some more salt to them, y'all. And now it's too salty. It wasn't salt, shy. it was taco season. Add some more. Don't be shy, add some more. <laughs> like the directions of the taco season don't say you use one pack per pound of meat. I'm sure that was only a pound of ground beef or whatever. You know what? It was too much. It's not beef, it's because you don't eat beef. What is it? It's turkey. 
But it's two and She used two taco seasonings on one pound of ground turkey, y'all. Ain't no way. But they say side eye. <laughs> but sour cream kind of saved the tacos, but them sliders, baby, ain't no saving them. Ain't no saving them. What, the lid came off the salt when you was... <laughs> what happened, like? Anyway, y'all. Life hack. Let me... Cooking lessons 101, cooking with K. So, when you over season your food, right? When you over season your food, guys, ground beef specifically, put some water in it. Okay? Ground turkey. turkey. Ground anything, okay? Ground meat. Put some water in the pan, swish it around, dump the water out, and then it pretty much should have took all the seasoning off. And then you can start off. Yeah. Not by much. It's all not you bitches. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was the the, look the, look the turn. Excuse me? So we are about to make my drink. So what y'all what I was telling y'all in the car, this is the bottle of speckle that I got on the side. So it's called a blue heaven apparently. It's this blue carousel and some fresh lemon juice, but we ain't got no lemon juice, so we're gonna use some lemonade oh some lemonade. And I bought my little bartending kit from home because y'all know I think I think do this or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You want a shaker? Yeah. Oh no, you actually shake it with that plastic in there. Wait, you lock you lock in? Huh? They lock in? Yeah. Let me see. It's a set, bro. Let me see. Mm. <laughs> but I like the clear because you can see it. You got a clear one at Applebee's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must be nice. I'm gonna start with just making one drink. I got my little measuring things right here. We're gonna get some ice. I'm gonna start by filling this with ice, y'all. Not me trying to talk and caught myself ending the vlog. But I feel like y'all gonna see me just a little bit, so. I mean, it wasn't passionate. It was not It's literally. It was something else. It says one and a half parts of this. What does that mean? What are the ounces? One and a half ounces. No, it says one and a half part spooky, and then half part. Kenny and her element. <laughs> Tag me. Um. So. Like I literally don't know where to start with this. This is one fourth. This is three fourths. Okay, I know what we gotta do. So, let's say two of these equal one, right? So if this says one and a half, we're gonna do three of this. Are you vlogging? I am, say hey. We got red, okay. I'm gonna bring my drinks, but I brought hookah. <laughs> Me too, we here with it. Did you ever order the hookah? Did I ever send it to you? No, but I had went to this other place, the place I get like where I smoke or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm gonna give it to you everything for $20. So he gave me the Google, the cold, the flavor, oh, the yeah. big flavor, and everything for twenty dollars. He looked out. What flavor you got? Uh, I love you. Thanks, hey, baby. Hey, what's up? What's up? I want to be TikTok famous. Say hey. What's up? What's up? Yeah. All right, you guys. So back to my little Where's your drink kid? with her daddy. Alright, so three of these, y'all. So it's got. I feel like that was bad liquor, and these proportions are not gonna do what I needed to do. Y'all. Hold on, you gotta try one of these. Boom. That What's is. This? That's a pudding shot. A pudding shot. Yeah. Let's see, y'all. This is coming from the real bartender, okay? <laughs> the real bartender. So we we gonna see. Chloe. How good is it? You try it? Yeah. It's good. You gotta yeah, try it. Good. It's like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, everybody. We gotta tap these glasses. <laughs> to Game Night at Sanaya's? Game Night at Sanaya's! Game Night at Sanaya's! <laughs> Cheers. I'm a little scared. Damn, this shit is thicker than that. It really tastes like this, too. <laughs> you're, missing your, you're missing your, um... Oh. You gotta push mm -hmm. them up. <laughs> you gotta try something? That I got like a potato head on that. Nah, here, watch this. Oh, like, watch this. Watch this. If you think it's too strong, add more lemonade. I'm gonna do that. Me? Anybody. I'm a lightweight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be fancy. Alright, not too much, y'all. I'm about to fail, though. No, no, no. This opening looks too... Where you still that shaker from? Positive. I bought it from Amazon. Oh. Yeah. I already oh, stole it. Yeah. I don't know where. A, a restaurant? You got all the work for it. Woo! Yeah! Oh, snap. I ain't gonna lie. I did! I did! Wait, what? 
So, listen, you're a little mess, but that's how you do it. Usually, you have a bar rag or a mat that catches it. Right. You know, the like how you do the videos and like that has to be like a thicker mat. Like, you put it at the beginning. So y'all, I'm doing a terrible vlog, terrible job at vlogging, but I had to come get this real quick because Jasmine caught herself trying to leave and ain't even make our drink yet. Mind you, it's 10 o'clock. But my girl, she you know, she had a big girl job. She going to work in the morning, but bought a drink and didn't make it. So she's about to make it, y'all. It's with eggnog. I've never had eggnog before, so we also about to try that on the vlog. Just make it yourselves at home. No, th this was the point. Uh, like this was a theme. Like when I'm not here. To be I for just, real. I just want to dress up cute. I want to pick the color that I did. I picked the shirt because it matches the color. It was all about the outfit. Okay. All about the outfit. Anyways, <laughs> technically, you're supposed to come with the drink made. Yeah, well, who's doing that? <laughs> I, I have That's yeah. thick. Yeah. Tell me you're not a bartender without telling me you're not a bartender. She yeah. just pouring it in a cup. She's gonna pour the liquor over and just stir it. Sure, fuck it. <laughs> Shit together. I'm fine. I don't do any measurements. Um, I'm about to try this. Um, eggnog. Yeah. So I said, Yo, knock me over, Bookie. She didn't even mix it, y'all. She literally poured the eggnog, poured the liquor, talking about something. Here y'all go. Drink up. Did you ice it and shake it? She did nothing. Let me cook. I did nothing. Oh, wait. I'm going to taste the eggnog, y'all. Wait, hold on. The bar Just get a spoon. Exit. Yeah, nice. No, we about to do this the right way. I don't. I already measured it. I don't. I got this one. <laughs> this tastes like coquito without the liquor, oh. but it definitely needs some liquor. I don't know who drinking eggnog as is, but ew. Don't mind the ice on the floor. Don't slip. I don't get insurance. Don't slip. Don't slip. Cause if somebody put chef on, oh y'all not you hip. Y'all too this? young. Mm -hmm. I'm the oldest here, y'all, and I'm not even that old. She like 37. All right, not too much. <laughs> not too much. She doesn't even measure. The bartender and I in the building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen. Shake it to your hand free to cook. <laughs> um, y'all don't forget. Ew, that was nasty. Oh, we don't taste nasty. How was I saying? I'll be the judge. But mixing your drinks makes a big difference. Steven is my actual trainer. He actually told me that. Alright, she had this little long hand pour and whatnot. Thank you. Let's see if it tastes better with liquor. It's a, it it smells like liquor. I need some more egg. I need some. <laughs> you don't like it? It's no, good. It's good. It's good. It's just strong. Yeah, it's that Captain Morgan shit. That's and that's like you're gonna find this regular eggnog, mm -hmm. and that is like vanilla spice, and this is like whatever Captain Morgan's is, spice like or whatever it is, whatever spices it has in it. So it kind of makes it taste weird a little bit. Regular eggnog is better. And if you want honey, honey with it is really good too. So y'all, it is 12.43 and I am back in the house. And I just wanted to make sure I came on here and end the vlog properly. Because there's been a couple of vlogs where I just had to cut it short. Because I can come on here and end it for you guys. But yeah, I don't know how much footage I got today. But it's vlogmas. Y'all gonna be seeing me every day for 25 days. So however much footage I got. It's enough. Because y'all will see me again tomorrow. At 6 o'clock. These last couple of days I have been like posting a little late. But we aim it for 6 o'clock. If you ain't get the memos. To make sure your post, not post bell notifications are turned on. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye y'all.